What's up everyone? It's Dustin. I'm here. I'm out of boot camp finally. Um this video is probably going to be about uh, or it is going to be about um my boot camp experience and some tips and tricks here and there and how COVID had to factor in to boot camp and stuff because you know, in 2021 COVID is still a thing. Um so uh, as you you guys know, I left January 12th to boot camp. Uh, I got to RDC at January 12th as well. Refrigerator's making noises. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys know that in processing, like that first night at boot camp, ooh, that was probably the scariest night of my life. That was the first time I was like, holy crap, I am, I'm here, I'm doing this thing. You get off the bus, you're immediately getting screamed at, you get into Diddy issue, you're getting screamed at, you're trying to make a phone call to your parents, getting screamed at, it was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. There were people that were genuinely scared, shaking and crap. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, let's do this crap. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So yeah, that was pretty scary. Um, but it was cool at the same time. So they took all my stuff that I told you, you guys to bring. They make you change out of it immediately and put on uh, like PT gear, like shorts and a yellow shirt. And then you throw all the stuff that you brought, put it in, you put it in a box about maybe this big not that it's not a big box um but yeah so they put you there and then that night we stayed up like the whole night because they make you stay up the whole night and uh we bust to like four or five hours to uh fort mccoy wisconsin and uh we stayed there for our quarantine the quarantine wasn't bad um they make you stay in like these barracks where there's like a top floor and a bottom floor um it holds like 20 people each floor um they section off the floor into four sections alpha bravo charlie i was in charlie section uh in charlie section so shout out to anybody from 1835 if y'all were in 1835 before mccoy what's up um what else so the way it works is like on day 10 you get tested for covid and if anybody comes back positive then they take that whole section and quarantine them or something uh i don't know but they quarantine the people and then yeah so i'm gonna tell you guys a funny story about that so um here it is day 14 we get tested and then day 11 is when we got the results back and on our floor first floor first deck everybody but our section got quarantined so that was pretty crazy. Like just everybody was packing their stuff up and they walked out and then it was just our, me and three other guys who were stuck there. And um, we just, you know, did our time and then we got out. Uh, it was pretty funny. Our RDC was hilarious about it. He's like, he would come in for morning temperatures and he would be like, how does it feel sleeping all alone in one corner? Like, cause when you leave, like, even though the rest of the room is cleared out, we can't go into the any of the other sections because you know it could be contaminated so we had to stay in our section still um but yeah so i ended up leaving on the on day 14 which i don't even know what date that was um we went to boot camp i got put in division 167 shout out division 167 anybody watching this thing anybody that you know knows me shout out to you guys uh but yeah so i rode with that division from week you know, from P days all the way to four TAC one. I'll show you guys what uh, what happened. So, on four TAC one, I ended up getting separated out of that division um, because of the Ring of Fire. So at boot camp, um, if somebody in your division tests positive for COVID, they call they do what they call the Ring of Fire, where they take um, the rack, like so, um, the rack mate of the person that tests positive, they take those two guys and then the people from the rack to the left and right. So three people, so three racks. So it's like six, five people. So they took, I was in my, um, the rack next to me. It was a guy from there. He tested positive and they took me and my rack mate. And then the, my other two shipmates to the left and right or to the left of them. So they took, um, them, they took the guy who tested positive, they put him in a 
like a different quarantine building and then we went to the midway drill hall and um since they're not doing graduations there because like there's a reason why they're not doing graduations there and that's because they have all of the ring of fire guys all in there so what happens is is if you get ring of fire you go there and you just quarantine another 14 days and then after your 14 days you get put in a new division on the date that you stopped so i stopped on four tack one so when i got to my new division 190 shout out 190 if anybody's watching this y'all are y'all are awesome that's what i super supported by the way they were we got in that division had no idea what we were doing how that division worked and immediately they were super helpful because like i guess a lot of other people asmoed into that division too um like they got put in there as well from ring of fire or from an injury something so that division they called it the ring they they called it the asmo division because they would get new asmos pretty much every week which was true because it still happened when i even when i was there there would be like a new person like every week or something so yeah so uh I got put into that division. Uh, ring or uh, midway sucked. I'll tell you that. That was probably the hardest part of boot camp was because um, there you couldn't do anything. Still couldn't talk to your family. I mean, you could you could get you would get mail still, but um, couldn't talk to your family. You couldn't really do anything besides study your trainee guide, your blue jackets manual. Um, they would have books every once in a while. You could trade. They would do like you could trade books. Um, so I read like three books in boot camp, dude, or at Midway. It was it was crazy. I had so much time. Uh, you get fed, you get fed uh, two bagged meals, and then you get fed an MRE. Anybody that says MREs are trash, you're wrong. You're wrong. MREs are actually pretty good. I I really enjoyed. It. That was the best part of the day for me for two weeks. Um, but anyway, I got to my new division, um, and uh, I'd say. They were they were a really good division, and I appreciate those guys. Um, appreciate one six seven as well. Um, I would say so. My favorite parts of boot camp, I would say firefighting. Firefighting was freaking awesome. I love it. I have like a growing passion for firefighting. Um, and then I would say probably my favorite moment is when we were on our way to battle stations. We were marching together, and we were singing cadence, and it was just so awesome to hear like everybody sounding off, you know screaming the cadence and we were just like the pride being like we were so proud that we basically finished boot camp we just had our last you know dragon to slay as our uh chaplains chaplain said um we were there like we were we just had to get through the night and um we were so happy and it was just that was probably my best my favorite moment um but yeah so some tips i'd say for boot camp in general is if like just do what you're told if an rdc didn't tell you to do it don't do it like there would be a time where we'd come back from chow and we would try to go run to the bathroom or something because i mean you know you know how it is you drink some coffee and you just gotta anyway so um like we would try to go run to the bathroom and one, one of our rdcs would come back from chow as well and then like half the division would be in the bathroom and he would they would freak out because he they didn't say hey go ahead and go to the head you know what i mean um so just if they didn't tell you to do it don't do it um make sure to use your chain of command in boot camp you're gonna have you know your rpoc your a rock your mastered arms section leaders yeomans you're gonna have divisional leadership and i would strongly suggest if you have a question about anything use your divisional leadership first before you go to an RDC unless it's a personal question or something ask your ask yeoman section leaders because they're most likely going to know the answer to it um rain but yeah use your divisional leadership because uh what that is is it trains you to um you know use your uh, chain of command so because in you know when you, in real life in the real military you don't want to ask the freaking XO or the CO a question about how you should be making your bed in the morning you know what I mean like you ask you go from your chain of command up um use your, use your chain of command uh, take care of your feet okay uh, you're gonna be like especially in the beginning of boot camp when you get these you know super boots um, 
make sure you take care of your feet because you're going to be marching, working out, uh, like your PT, probably not during your PT, but if you get IT, like if your division gets in trouble and, you know, you get beat by the RDCs, you're going to be, you know, getting beat in your in your boots. So you're marching, you're running, you're, you're doing everything in your boots. So your feet, they take, it takes a toll on your feet. So definitely take care of your feet so like when you go to the next on your week one or p days i don't remember when buy some moleskin buy some foot spray buy some powder buy just foot care stuff this is gonna sound weird it's a hidden trick that we had your feet freaking stink okay because of their sweating and stuff so um our rdc's would tell us to take like women's deodorant like dove and put it on your feet because it, it it does really well Sounds weird, but just do it, okay? Um, yeah, take care of your feet. Buy a lint roller. Uh, a lint roller is really nice because when you're doing inspections, you don't want any um, like gear drift on your on your uniform. So make sure you roll that crap off before you um, do an inspection. So a lint roller is really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know anything else to be honest. Um, but yeah, so like take care of your feet, take care of your, your, you know, your body, take care of, make sure you, when you're doing PT, make sure you're stretching really good. Okay. Cause that, there were people that were, that were pulling muscles or tearing muscles. You know what I mean? You got to make sure you stretch and you don't overwork your body. Um, yeah. So just take care of yourself, your feet, listen to what RDCs tell you. Uh, if an RDC tells you, Hey, pick up here's a stack of paper, go pick it up. You know what I mean? Just do it. Cause either there's something behind it, either you're in trouble or it's a teaching moment or something like there's never, I didn't, I don't know if it's just, this is just me, but like whatever, like I never saw a moment where I was like, yeah, I would question why I, you know, they are making us do this a lot. But then again, in a week or so, you kind of see the results from it. Like one time we've probably folded everything. We would take everything out of our racks and refold it and put it back in and refold it and then put it back in and then refold it and then unfold it and refold it and unfold it, refold it. Like we did that like 30 times. But then what that did is it taught us to how to refold our stuff quickly, put it back quickly. And when our, when our like static inspection came around, we did good on it because our crap was really nicely folded and stuff. You know what I mean? So there's going to be times where you're going to question like, what the, what the heck? Like, why are we doing this? There's usually a reason behind it. So just trust your RDCs. They know what they're doing. Um, the RDCs are pretty, pretty rad. They're really cool. Um, they're really, they're really good. They're really cool people. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else to talk about. Uh, COVID, I'd say the way that they're taking, the way that they're handling COVID at RDC is like, they're, or RTC, they're doing really good. I think because um, they disinfect everything. Like whenever we, we did a, the, the gas chamber stuff, we put the mask on and then when we were done, took it off, disinfected it ourselves. Whenever we were doing reps and sets, um, like firefighting stuff, we took the masks off, the everything, we wiped it all down. They're handling COVID really well, I would say. So like there's obviously they can't stop they can't stop COVID at boot camp completely, but they can definitely prevent, do what they can to prevent the spread. Um, I'd say that midway, like putting people in the ring of fire to midway, like at the time I really disagreed with how that worked, but looking at it, looking back at it and it goes, you know, hey, that, that riff, that definitely does help because that after that, our division, the new division I had never had any COVID cases because like, they were taking care of it really well. But anyway, so that's about it. Um, I'm here at my A school right now. Um, I'm not taking classes right now because I'm on like, a, like I'm on hold. They don't have enough instructors right now because there was a lot of us that came in last week on Friday. So now I have to wait until next week, next Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, the 13th, April 13th. So now I have to wait until next Tuesday to go and try and do classes again. So now I'm just gonna be chillaxing and doing whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to put out a new video next week about 
how you know an update or something or a vlog with michael or i don't even know man i'm just gonna think of something but anyway if you made it this far in the video thank you so much while you're at it since you probably enjoyed the video give it a like maybe hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff um coming from me um i plan to hmm I really, I really enjoy making these videos because, you know, I hope I get to help people that are thinking about the Navy and, or are in the Navy or in depth or, or just people that just want to genuinely see how, you know, the, how my life is, you know what I mean? Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going to probably sit and think about, uh, airplanes i don't know boats ships i don't even know um like i said anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed uh that's it for me i guess um i'll see you guys later if you have any questions about anything i'm always down to answer questions my instagram will probably be in the description of this video and i'll probably put my snapchat there too so if you guys ever have any questions or anything go ahead and like or go ahead and shoot me a, a message or something and i'll respond to it with the best of my abilities because there's not a lot of things that i can tell you guys about about boot camp so i mean i could kind of tell you the like the gist of it but i will answer any questions i can um so yeah go ahead and follow my instagram or message me on instagram add me on snapchat do whatever um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you later